everybody hey y'all what's up how's it going welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome this is this texas mama my name is christine i created this place for moms and dads who are moms uh, somewhere where they can go for all sorts of things um family life kids um decorating traveling camping anything you name it you can come here uh i need to apologize right now because you can hear the chirping from my fire alarm. Um, we can't reach it, um, so we need to change the battery. I don't, I don't have a ladder that high, so you might be hearing it throughout the video. I'm really, really sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so this video is different. I've had a couple of people tell me that I need to do decorating videos. So I don't have a big, huge house. And it's, you know, it's pretty small, but it's, it does its job and we're blessed, of course. Um, we're a family of five, so my kitchen dining is kind of, you know, connected. And I do try to decorate as much as possible. Um, the bigger holidays, of course, like Christmas, I decorate the crap out of Christmas. And um, we have a coffee bar and stuff like that. And I'll put a video toward the end to show you a little, you know, a little bit of what my, ki my dining room kitchen looks like, you know, just to kind of see what... Oh. What I'm talking about but um, I do like to decorate I I, I, I love it um, sometimes you can't decorate on a budget but I do try to you know if I have an extra $20 um, I'll try to go to my favorite places like TJ Maxx or home goods the dollar spot at Target um, don't get me wrong <clears throat> I'm a bargain mama a budget mama so if I can find something that's a pretty good price and I'll get it but um, like I said, I'm on a budget, and so I'll, I'll try to, you know, find some cute stuff I can, you know, with $20, if I can splurge that. And I'll try to get things that I can, you know, accumulate or incorporate into my kitchen or my living room or what have you. But, <clears throat> you know, I love to do it. Uh, sometimes I can't do it, but I make do, and I pull, I pull pieces from here and there to, you know, to make a wall or to make a centerpiece or something. You know, I'm kind of crafty that way so um, I had a lot of people tell me that I needed to decorate videos and my friends um, so my friends tell me they don't have a crafting bone in their body they don't know how to decorate they can't get a theme together and um, sometimes they need you know a video to show them what they what they can do so I'm gonna do something kind of small and some people might think what oh my god you're gonna decorate this but yes it's it's true people decorate this this is a throw blanket ladder or a blanket ladder. So um, I got this cute thing at Kirkland's. Uh, we really, really wanted one. Jeanette found it at Kirkland's and it wasn't, it wasn't cheap. I'm probably thinking it was maybe like 30 bucks. If it was on sale, it might've been maybe 20% off, maybe 30% off, but I really wanted it. Jeanette had got some really, really cute blankets and uh, for Christmas, they were Christmas theme and I wanted to hang them up. I didn't want them thrown all over the couches like they usually are. And so um, we got this cute thing. It's, it's white, it's distressed, and underneath the distress, it's, it's like a, a black. Um, it's kind of flimsy. Uh, the ledges are not very big, but it's cute. I love it and um, we're kind of not using it right now. So what, I, what happened was I wanted to get some ideas to decorate this ladder. So I Googled, I YouTubed, I Pinterest, of course, because who doesn't love Pinterest? God bless Pinterest. Um, and I think I kind of searched wrong. I think I did the verbiage wrong. I went in there and I put how to decorate a blanket ladder <clears throat> and nothing came up. And then I put how to decorate a throw blanket ladder and a few things came up, but not a lot. So I went back again and I just put in how to decorate a ladder. And then, oh my Lord, boom, boom, boom. All this stuff came up with all kinds of ideas for decorating a ladder. And I mean, from Christmas to spring, Easter, all sorts of things. So I was, I was in heaven. So I knew I wanted to decorate it. I didn't want to do anything gaudy. I can't put too many um, fragile things, nothing too breakable because I have littles. But I knew I wanted to decorate it. We're not using it right now, but you know I'm not putting this sucker in the garage because it was expensive and I didn't want it to break. So I knew I wanted to decorate it. I just kind of needed some nudge and some help and stuff. So 
I kind of searched a little bit, so I kind of got a few ideas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with my ladder, and I'm going to put it in my kitchen. But I think it's pretty versatile. I really think you can use this like in any room. So I'll give you some ideas about that. But right now I'm going to go into um, decorating and show you just a little something of what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not really going to do Easter. I think I'm going to do more spring. If I do do Easter, I may find some like bunnies or maybe some cute carrots or maybe something to incorporate Easter. I mean, I try to do the bigger holidays, but Easter is like one day and it comes and goes and spring is a little longer. So I think I'm thinking maybe that. And plus, I don't have the storage um, like for I would love to have Easter blankets, but I don't have the storage to store all these blankets for every holiday. And then the same thing for decor. I don't have the storage to store decor. I mean, I have freaking six bins for Christmas alone. I think I have two bins for Halloween. So I I really don't have the space for any more, but I would love it, but not right now. So we'll, we'll see. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate this ladder and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really, really simple. It's not as difficult as some people think. And um, if you have one at home and you have it tucked away, bring it out because you could really, really use it. So what I'm going to do, oh, my towel fell, sorry. So what I knew, I knew I wanted to put um, a hand towel on there and I wanted to use this towel that I got. It's just a simple buffalo um, plaid. And it was a Christmas one, but nobody's going to see the Christmas behind it. So, or it just says joy actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this on the top ledge. Okay, here like that. And I don't mean to have my back to you guys, but I'm gonna kind of show you that. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one. See, easy. I hope you can see it, I was trying to, it's white and it kind of blends in with the black background, but I I don't have anything else to put it against right now. And I needed lighting, so. And then I found these cute towels. So these are super cute. It just says, Hello Spring. And I got these at Home Goods, and it came two to a pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that over it. And it is my pop of color and my spring. So I'm gonna put that over that. That's really, really easy. I really hope this doesn't fall. But like I told y'all before, I'm new at this. I really haven't gotten the editing down, so this is real life sister, so um, things might happen. So that's easy, simple. I wanted a hand towel and I kind of put it off to the side because I kind of want it, I don't want it, um, I, want, I don't want it uniform. I kind of want it, you know, whimsical. So, and then I knew I also wanted a wreath, but I didn't want a big gaudy wreath. I wanted, you know, some greenery. And I think I went to, I think I went to Home Goods and I went to TJ Maxx. They were cute stuff, but they were too big and I, I didn't want it. I kind of wanted um, a smaller scale. So I found this cute thing at Hobby Lobby. I think it may have been $7.99, I think. But I, of course, I didn't pay that. I, I'm pretty sure I got this on sale. Usually, they'll have um, something that's 50% off, 40% off, or you can use the coupon that they have. So what I did was I went ahead. Oh, and this is um, not a wreath. And this has a name. I can't remember it right now. But it's the thing that goes around a candle or a candlestick to decorate it. So this is actually what I got instead. So I'm going to go ahead and put some floral wire. See the floral wire, wire right there? I went ahead and put some floral wire on it and I'm gonna attach this to one of the ledges. So I am gonna put it right here. And hoping that it will stay. And it's perfect in size. I mean, see how, how cute is that? Perfect in size. So then um, I also knew I wanted to put a basket and I <clears throat> what I wanted to do was find a basket that had hooks on it. So I did find some at Home Goods, but they were kind of expensive because they had the hooks on them already. Apparently that makes it more expensive. So I kind of got a little um, crafty on my own or MacGyvered it, if you want, if you want to, if you uh, want to say. So this is a basket that I found at Home Goods, and it kind of went with the color schemes that I wanted, black and whitish. And this is kind of like um, 
want to say material. It kind of feels like paper. I don't think it's paper though. Um, but anyway, it, it didn't have the hooks. I had some hooks at home and all I did was intertwine it or interweave it into the weaves of where I thought it needed to go. So like right now, it's not where I want it. And so I'm gonna adjust it to where I think. And then I'm gonna inter interweave it into the basket and then um, put it on the ledge. See, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the ledge about right here. So it's perfect. And I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put anything too heavy in it, but you can put anything if it's, it's a little bit more, uh, if it's adjusted right and you have it um, attached correctly, you can put anything in it. So what I had planned on doing was I found these cute crocheted uh, carrots at, um, I think at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, one of those, my go-tos. Um, and they went back and they weren't there. But they were cute carrots, they were crocheted, they were they were really big and they had the green greenery coming out of it and they weren't there, but I kind of wanted the carrots in there to go with the spring. And kind of Easter-ish, I guess. But it would have matched the towel, so. I may have to rethink what I want to put in there, but that's kind of my thought. And, um, but still, I mean, you really could put anything in there. You could put my hand towels in there. You could put, you know, a stuffed animal in there. You know, sky's the limit. Oh, you can put kitchen utensils, you know, to go with the theme of your kitchen. Because my kitchen right now is farmhouse. I'm trying to get farmhouse. I'm, cum I'm accumula accumulating stuff as I come across it. Because I'm, I'm eclectic that way. I, I try not to, to be too matchy-matchy. But um, if I find cute things, I'll, I'll get it. Um, I always buy it because, you know, if you go back, they, it probably won't be there like my carrots. So anyway, so, so you can still decorate this cute little ladder. So the other thing I wanted to put was this cute gnome. Ta-da, how cute is that? And he's springy. He's got the pink on the legs and the little embroidery on his um, hat. And I just found out that this bends. How cute is that? Isn't he cute? I don't know what it, what it is with the gnomes thing. It's like a, it's like a new thing and they're so cute. So I found this one at Home Goods. I think he was like $6.99, $7.99. So I bought him because it kind of tied in with the spring thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place him on the bottom, right? here. Actually, I might have to bend his hat, but I'm going to put him right here and he fits perfectly and his legs dangle. Can you see him down there? How, how freaking cute is that? And then I have this cute sign that I'm going to put down there too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, see how cute that is? It says Hello Spring and it's simple. It was $5.99 at Home Goods. And I think I might paint that wreath inside. Um, like really pretty pops of color, like uh, maybe some green and some pink. I don't know yet, I haven't decided, but I know I wanna paint it, I just haven't done it yet. It's just kind of too stark, too white. So I might paint that, but not right now. But I know I wanna put this on there because it says Hello Spring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the ledge right there. So, I mean, how cute is that? It's simple, there's only a few things on there, but you can really put anything. You can put, um, it depending, of course, like I said before, on the ledge and how sturdy it is. I mean, you really can put anything on there. So I have a couple of things that I'm gonna show you. So I got these farmhouse beads, see? Got these at Hobby Lobby. I was looking for the single strand and I couldn't find them, but these were on sale. I think it was for Easter. So they might be out right now still. But you could totally hang these <clears throat> from here, like so, and hang them out like that. How pretty is that? Just, you know, pops right out. Or I have, oh, actually, I'm gonna hang this on here. I'm gonna hang that. This is cute. It's ceramic. And it says, um, if they would cooperate, it says, I love us. Can you see that? How cute is that? So I do want to put that on there, but I'm going to put it up here on the top. And like I said before, I have littles, so not a lot of fragile stuff can go on here. And then another idea I had is I have this cute Ray Dunn bowl, and it says blessed. 
Oh, how cute is that? And I found these cute eggs at Hobby Lobby. And they have the buffalo plaid and the burlap, kind of the thing that I have in here. So you can also put this on the ledge. So you could really, I mean, depending on your ledge, because I'm not really going to put this, I'm not going to do anything with my Ray Dunn stuff, but you could put this on here. So you can make this really as full as you want or as bare as you want. And I thought this would really be cute anywhere. I mean, it's really, really simple, very cute, but you could also use this, um, let's say, like in your daughter's room. You could put um, a cute sign up there that says Hello Beautiful or that has her name, um, something glittery, of course. You can put three of her best dresses, her favorite dresses or her costumes. You could leave the basket and put like her brush and her, you know, hair, hair ties or what have you. Um, what else can you put in there? You can also put like your favorite stuffed animal or the same thing down on the ledge. You can put another sign or, you know, a beautiful sign or whatever sign that you find, or you can put um, her favorite stuffed animal on the ledge. That will look so cute in a little girl's room. Or if you wanted, you can put this in the bathroom and I can totally see this in the bathroom. You can put your hand towels up here, uh, a cute decorative hand towel. And then of course you can leave the greenery, maybe get another basket like this. You could put your toilet paper rolls in there. You could put your hand towels in there, rolled up cute hand towels in there. You can find some cute signs and put signs on there. Something like wash your hands, brush your teeth, you know, stuff like that. Um, that would totally look cute. I thought, you know what, this ladder's pretty versatile. You could probably use it anywhere. Um, but on, I, on the other hand, can't put it in my kid's room. I can't put it in Addie's room because I could totally see her climbing on it. No bueno. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it either in the living room or in the kitchen. So, I thought I'd do this video and show you guys how easy it is. Because I literally went to YouTube, I believe, and tried to search how to decorate a ladder. And I couldn't find anything. I really, I mean... Some people may think, oh my God, that's like the easiest thing. And I have other people on the other spectrum who's like, that is, what, what are you talking about? Decorating a ladder. But it's true, see? And when I went to YouTube, I couldn't find anything. And I think I actually saw somebody do it in a video, uh, come, decorate it, come Decorate With Me video, a YouTuber. And I couldn't find it, but I remember she used it for Christmas. And she put like some ornaments. I think she hung her stockings from it. And then she did put a Christmas blanket on it. I thought, oh my God, that's like, that's such a cute idea. And so when I went to YouTube a little more, I couldn't find anything. And so when I went to Pinterest, that's where I got the ideas from. But I think this is such a cute idea. You could totally use your blanket ladder anywhere. Put, you know, baskets, decorations, decor. You can even put lights on it. Come on, sky's the limit. Anyway. So I hope you really liked this video. And I think um, I'm gonna put something at the end and show you a little de uh, a little tour of my kitchen and you know some decor that I have. And like I said, I'm trying to accumulate little by little. And um, I, I hope you like it. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you wanna know where I got something, I'll try to remember, I'll try to remember the price. But um, if I didn't mention it in the video, because I think I'm gonna mention you know um, things in the video and stuff. But um, I hope you like this video. I hope you like me. Um, I hope this helped um, your creativity, uh, your creative side. Um, and I hope to give you ideas if you didn't even have a clue to maybe that you could possibly use this in any of your rooms. But yes, you can. But I, I really hope you like this. And um, I hope you subscribe and like and share. And if you do actually, if you do have one and you decorated your own, send me pictures. I'm going to put some information um, where you can contact me. I have an Instagram as well. I have my email in there. So I'm going to put that in there so you can show me and maybe I'll post them up on my um, Instagram because I really like to see how you decorated your ladder. All right. I hope to see y'all soon and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hi guys. So I wanted to do a little tour of my kitchen slash dining room area. So this is my coffee bar. Um, as you can see, I do have some Ray Dunn mugs and, you know, a couple of Ray Dunn pieces. I hope to get more. Um, my little pops of spring are in here. I have that, um, other hand towel hanging over here. And then you have, um, that little sign up there that I showed you earlier, the hello spring sign and the gnome. I went ahead and put him on the shelf. 
that cute little heart tin um, hanging there on the wall and the coffee bar sign. I believe I got those from Hobby Lobby. And I also have this three tier tray holder thing. Um, I usually decorate it a little bit more, but I really haven't accumulated a whole lot of small spring things. So I'm hoping to get some more stuff to decorate it. But for now, I have the farmhouse beads and I have those cute eggs that I showed you earlier from Hobby Lobby. And then I also got those carrots down there. Um, they were like four to a pack. It really wasn't that many, but I went ahead and put them in there to tie in with the um, hand towel. But yeah, that's kind of, you know, my coffee bar for now until I get a little bit more uh, spring stuff to decorate. I think I need some florals to put in here. Maybe I'll hit the Target dollar spot. Who knows? And then here I have my um, farmhouse kind of mural wall. I made that no bitchin' in my kitchen sign. I also ate the, I made the EAT. I hand painted those and uh, distressed them myself. And then I have this meat and memory sign, the bless this food sign, and that sign that says I love you more than bacon. Those three things I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I believe I got that frame from Ross. I also have this cute antique hanging thing. I really don't know what it is, but I found it at an estate sale and I love it. So I just went ahead and put it in there. And then I have this piece that was supposed to be shoe storage, but it never turned out that way. So I'm hoping to help, um, you know, kind of fill it up with Ray Dunn stuff. Who knows? And then I found this Farm Fresh Eggs uh, plate. So cute. I found that at Hobby Lobby. And then these two uh, paintings I found at Ross, if you can believe it. I love them because they're not the typical black and white farmhouse. So if I need to incorporate color into the kitchen, I can. And then those two copper molds I found at a thrift store. I'm really looking for some other ones because I kind of wanted a collection. And then here are the awesome uh, buffalo plaid curtains I got from Amazon. And then that yum sign, I got that from Hobby Lobby. And then here's the ladder that we decorated earlier. I went ahead and took off the gnome and the, uh, the sign because I didn't want the dog to get a hold of the, the gnome. So I had this tin bucket. I went ahead and put a plant in the tin bucket. And then I went ahead and left the basket and the wreath and the hand towels. Kind of left it simple. Um, I'm still going to look for the carrots to put into the basket. But yeah, that's kind of how I left it for now. So I really hope you like this video and I hope you like this little mini tour. I hope you get some ideas. And if you guys have any other questions or want to know if I got something, let me know and I will try to um, get back with you and, and let you know where I got something. So hopefully I can do more of these videos and I hope you like my tour. Bye.